All right, now the lock screen on a Galaxy phones is something which we look at every day so many number of times. And it would be great to have a tool to customize this lock screen as per our taste and preferences. Now Samsung has made this possible through a good lock module called Lockstar, which is a fantastic module which enables us to customize this entire lock screen. We can redesign the whole lock screen, we can add some additional functionalities to it. For example, we can add more app shortcuts on the lock screen. And these are some amazing features offered by Lockstar module on GoodLock application. So in this video, we are going to deep dive and see how to customize your lock screen using this Lockstar module. Without wasting any time, let's dive right into it. Let's open GoodLock and open the Lockstar module. This is the interface you see here on this latest version of Lockstar. On the mid-range phones, the interface is a little different compared to this. But the customization options are more or less the same. So you can do the same thing on the mid-range phone as well as long as it supports good lock modules. Now as you can see here, we have got two pages. We have got this lock screen here and we also have an option to customize the always on display. And below this, we have got this lock screen timeout option, which enables us to customize the lock screen timeout. We can increase the lock screen timeout up to about five minutes or up to 10 minutes, depending on your system's default display timeout settings. So if you want your lock screen to stay on longer, you can do that by using this option. That definitely consumes a lot of battery. So I don't suggest you to do that, but if you're someone who admires the new wallpapers, the dynamic lock screen wallpapers on the Galaxy phones, then you may want to increase the lock screen timeout. Anyways, let's move on. Now let's tap on this lock screen customization page. This is how it looks like. On the top, you can see we have this option, various system icons will be shown. I will not be able to move this around. I can only remove it if I don't want it. So if you're someone who don't want to see the system icons on the lock screen, you will be able to remove it here. Now let me tap on this lock icon. As you can see here on the left hand bottom corner, we have got this menu button to customize this particular icon. I'll tap on this. As you can see, we have got this pop-up which shows different lock icons. You can select the one you want here. Not just these options, if you want to add something from your gallery, maybe an image as this lock icon, you can do that as well. Just tap on this plus button and add any image or even a GIF from the gallery for your lock icon. That is amazing, isn't it? If you can see here, we have got both lock and unlock icons. When you select these default icons, uh, both will be selected. And when you're customizing from your gallery, then you can select both the lock and unlock icons separately here. Now, if you've selected any of these default lock icon, you will be able to change the colors as well. You can see at the bottom, we have got all these color option and we also have color swatches as well as spectrum option here. This is a very deep customization option we have got for this lock icon. That is amazing, isn't it? Now let's move on. I'll go back and tap on this clock. Again, we have got this menu button here. I'll tap on this. We've got various clock style options here. You can select the one you want. You can even increase or decrease the scale over here. Now, if you want a deeper customization for this clock face, we have got another module called clock face using which we will be able to customize this. I have made a separate video on that. I will leave a link for that video in the description. If you're into this, you can go ahead and check that video to know how exactly you can get into a deeper customization of your clock face. Now let's save this and let's go back. After this, we have got this notification icons. Again, we have a customization option here. I'll tap on this menu. We have got notification type under which we can select only these icons or you can select detailed notifications through Lockstar as well. And when you select that, we have got number of notification options here. As you can see, as I slide this bar, we get more number of notifications here. Now let me select the icons. Like the lock icons, we have got an option to customize the notification icons as well. We will be able to select the color we want and we will be able to increase or decrease the scale as well as transparency. Awesome, now let's go back. I'll tap on this media output widget. We don't see a customization options for this. Maybe Samsung should add an option here as well so that we can customize it and make it look the way we want. Now we have got something more interesting here. Let me just tap on this blank space as you can see, we have got sticker options here. That is brilliant. We will be able to add a sticker on the lock screen. Now, once you add it, we can tap on this icon again to customize the sticker. You can add different stickers here and you can increase the scale, rotation, transparency. So if you're into this, you can customize the stickers on your lock screen. Now let's go back. Let me again tap on this blank space. 
Now, apart from this sticker, we also have another option here at the bottom, you can see. I will just tap on this plus button here. And when I go back, I can see these two icons right here at the bottom right and bottom left corner. You got camera and phone icon here. Now these two icons are available by default on the phone on the lock screen settings. We can select any application we want for these two options. But here on the lock star module, we can add more icons on this particular tab. Let me show you how to do that. I will just tap on this to see this menu button here at the left hand side bottom corner. I'll tap on the menu button. As you can see, I can change the type here. I'll select the top one. And now you can see we can add six different icons on this bar. I'll tap on this plus again. As you can see, we have got all the apps on the system here. I can select the app I want and just tap on apply. I will be able to select six different icons right from this page. That is just fantastic. Once we select all the icons, we will also be able to align them in different positions. As you can see, we have got vertical, horizontal. You can set it to right or on the left as well. This is certainly crazy. We have got so many customization options for your lock screen, which you might not have thought about. This is on the lock screen alone. Now we can also customize the always on display. As of now, we don't have too many options to customize here. I'm sure Samsung is going to add more features on the AOD customization options as well. As you can see, when I tap on this, the AOD customization page opens up. When I tap on the clock, you can see we have got this menu option to customize this clock. I'll tap on this. Similar clock styles we have got here. Below the clock, we see this battery percentage or the battery bar here. If you don't want it, you can just uncheck this box to remove that battery display. Now I would prefer keeping it, so I will just keep it there. Now let's tap on these notification icons. Here we don't have an option to customize this. Then we have got this biometric icon here. Obviously we do not have an option to customize this as well. I hope Samsung adds some lock screen animations in the next update for the lock screen module. I really hope to see that because we don't have any good animations for the fingerprint sensor. I really hope to see that option coming on lock screen module. Now I'll tap on this. As you can see again, we have an option to customize this. We can select either of these charging information options here. Whichever you think is better for you, you can go ahead and select that. These are the customization we get on the always on display. I'm sure this section is going to get more customization options in the future. That's about it guys. I'm sure you're going to love customizing your lock screen using this lock star module on good lock. Uh, good lock is not supported on all the devices or it is not available in all the regions. So be wary of that. If it is supported on your phone, you will be able to utilize this particular module or this particular application on your phone. So go ahead and check that out. I will be leaving a link for this module as well as this application in the description below. Now, if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button and it would be great if you could become a part of this Apex community. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.